Okay, here's our machine after about three hours. Preheating in my oven and then running on for another hour and a half over here, up to 134. So let's see what it looks like in here. Ooh, looks hot. Are, are you going to be okay with these things on here or are you going to get pissed off at me? You can stick them on there. All right, let's see what happens. We're gonna turn this thing on. Ooh. Not even sticking to the toilet. Yeah. Oh, steam out of here. Okay, we're gonna let this sit on here for a while. We're losing all that heat. We went up to 137, taking a little 38. Okay, we are on uh, 40 hertz. This is a high frequency. We'll run out for I think 15 minutes. I think that's what my timer was set at. Yeah, 15 minute timer. We'll see what that looks like and then we'll come back. If that don't work, we'll put on 24 hertz for heavy cleaning and see what that does. There we are. Okay, it's been on for 15 minutes. Let's see what we got in here. 145 degrees in here, I know that. The paint's still there. If it doesn't work, we could just put lobsters in there. <laughs> put lobsters in here? Do we have one? Oh yeah, there's something that's pretty nasty and corroded looking. So that was heavily corroded. So now it's fairly clean. It's still got some carbon residue on it. It's got a lot of carbon on the inside of the venturi. doesn't rub off so I knocked off the corrosion but didn't take the carbon away yet so this is just straight dished open here so here's our floating float this is not a sinking sinker it's not sinking it definitely is not shiny Camera's hurting. Turn the light off might help. Eh, not really. It's definitely not knocking corrosion off like they show you in the pictures. It's hard to tell what the stuff looks like in there without yanking it all out, so I'm trying not to burn myself. Does look a little better. Oh. Trying to get away. Needs kind of a copper finish to it there. It doesn't cut all the corrosion off of it. Now this was shiny zinc plated and now it's dull. <laughs> Took all the zinc off. Yeah. yeah. That's looking a lot better there. Now we're starting to get something that looks better. Okay, this has paint on it. Now there's something that looks a lot better. That's starting to look like it's supposed to. There's some shiny, new looking to it. So that's looking a lot better. So what from shit to shinola? Still got a little paint and stuff in there. So I think this stuff needs to go in there for some more cleaning. Yeah. 
See if we can get this float bowl out of here and see how nasty it looks. When you turn the uh, sonic part back on and you're holding the camera, it'll feel the camera like vibrating. Yeah. You got a vibrating camera. Oh, it's picking up on the whatever ultrasonic vibrations. That's not a very clean looking float bowl. Turn this back on. Well, the inside's starting to look better. The outside still looks like crap. Some heavier duty cleaning going on in this. <clears throat> Alright. So, overall, I think we're uh, looking better, but we need some, need some more cleaning. Yeah, I don't know what's down there, but that's in there now. Might as well do that too. Alright, so we're going to stick this thing on there for some more time. And pull out this body right here. kind of a scale onto it, but not really clean looking yet. Alright, so this is pretty much just water with some light detergent in it, so I don't know if it needs more chemicals in it or something else. Now that's the paint. Paint is trying to soften up. It's trying to come off in places there. Yeah, let's see if I wire brushes, I think this will come off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wire brush this stuff a little bit and I'll come back. See what it looks like. Okay, I just got done cleaning up the carburetor here. subject. So I blew it with air and that took about half of it off and I wire brushed it with, with a coarse wire brush and knocked off some more of the paint. So it's looking a little better but still pretty dirty. You can see how it's not cleaning the dirt carbon out of the inside of the carburetor at all. And every piece I pull out that has carbon on it's not being cleaned. And everything else it doesn't look like it's all that clean either. So I went ahead and put a couple more tripled up on the cleaner solution the soap I took out my small parts here I guess I can leave that in the rod steel and I'm going to go ahead and crank this thing up to the low frequency if it's 24 hertz and give it 15 minutes and see what that looks like and we're at uh, 139 degrees of drop intensely I got the load open so I'm going to change this mode. We got 15 minutes on there again. 150 degree, full power, and low frequency. Ooh, look at all the vibration bubbles. Don't see any. Alright, we'll get it 15 minutes and we'll be back and see what it looks like.